Hey, what is up, everybody? It is No One Shell coming back at you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to talk about the upcoming patch, which is probably launching about now. When I drop this video, all the stuff I show you in this video is stuff I got beforehand. It is not my account. This is another person's account, a develop account, a beta account, whatever you want to call it. It's an account that's not owned by me. These are videos that were provided by me so I can create content for the up and coming arc two of Discovery. And this is what it's going to be about. Let's go to my desktop to where we go through the patch notes. These patch notes may change. These may not for all we know, but this is what was written beforehand and should be posted. So patch 23 is being summoned. So buckle up, buckle up and get ready for some epic updates. In the name of Kronos, the honor of Kalos, you will be destroyed. The fury of Kronos has been unleashed. Mud's victory has left discovery crew shaken but they will have no time to recover. Following hot on the heels of the quarry, or query of the uh, Klingons from Discovery Owns Universe, have found themselves pulled into a reality. Their arrival here seemingly an unintended side effect of MUD's manipulation of the Mycelia network. Reports around, uh, uh, sorry, I can't read sometimes. Report abroad from across the galaxy of the Klingon ships gathering up ancient defunct technology and annihilating everything in their path what could these renegades possibly want from us how many will fail before they are stopped the gates have been opened and the hounds of war have been set loose remain cling on and that's the that's the start of it so we have an introduction to discovery part two continuing from discovery's arc that started in september more great discovery content has arrived in star trek fleet command Part two discovery event will continue or continues where the story left off in the part one uh, improving the U.S.'s discovery. As adding more members of the discovery crew, the second part of discovery is in October includes U.S.'s discovery additional abilities, a new summoning mechanic, a new flash events which focus around new summoning mechanic, new officers, Philip Giorgio, Tilly, Stamets, wasn't written there, new missions, which I still haven't done mine yet from the last arc. <laughs> The all new improved 24 days discovery theme battle pass, which is pretty cool. I actually like the idea. Some of you guys may be shocked, some of you guys may not. I'm not gonna go over that because we're going over what's in front of our faces right now. Upgrading the USS Discovery Spore Drive to the new research and summon your sh other ships directly to locations. Use the power of the Mycelium Network to summon your ships directly to USS Discovery in the si or in systems when it's time to, uh, that is, uh, uh, ugh, the essence. Sorry guys, I have a moment. Mine's still not positive here. So, new officers. We got Elp, Philip, Giorgio. And we'll go over these officers. I'm not gonna read these abilities right here because we have videos to go look at. Got rare damage. Got Tilly. I like Tilly. Discovery missions. So we have more discovery missions. So, uh, middle missions, quantity 10. Unlocked the uh, MS4 basic battle pass. Side missions, there are five side missions unlocked by MS16 basic battle pass. So they're all on the basic ones this time. They're not gonna be dumped into the the pay for battle pass, much cool. Added more anomaly, uh, anomaly activities. More anomalies are appearing in the universe with new enemies, armadas, boss enemies, harness the power of mycelium network through the discovery, blast these suckers back to where they came from. Cool, new battle pass. New discovery version of the battle pass, October, or for October, we are adding a lot more resources to both free and elite battle pass, which is a good thing, but they took some away from another part, but I can't go over it. And, move my head over here so new avatar frames which i have a video of it philip Giorgio, tilly during klingon Feder uh, federation war frame federation distinguished service and then you have the the call the empire avatar you have the red alert avatar or frame and you have but who's counting avatar i think there's a second page yep here's and then this is all of the host list of stuff you guys can go over and pause it i I don't even want to read into this, but I want to get into the officers. So let's open the video of the officers. Here we go. And I'm not an officer. Do -do 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 myself over here. Here's Tilly. It took a while for her to load in the show. So the pause. So Tilly's uh, captain ability. The power of math. At the start of the combat, when defending from a player's attack, Tilly decreased the opponent's shield health by 10% at the starting sh shield. At oh, that's interesting. That's like a reverse version of Yuki. If she gets attacked, she's basically a reverse version of Yuki. It's kind of cool. All right. And let's go to the next one. Any moment now. Click. 
All right, so we have her officer ability. Hold your horses. Every time the ship is hit by an opponent's weapon, our weapon attack, Tilly has 30% chance to decrease an opponent's officer attack by 15% cumulative. But then remember, she levels up. If we, if I grab her picture for you guys, right hit her, and I open her up. So you have her ability, which is ranks. So uh, rank one is 30, rank two is 35, rank three is 40%. So it goes all the way to 50%, so, which is kind of cool. And let's minimize that again. And let's open, why is that in there? Where did my video go? So here it is, so let's keep going. And we'll go to the next part. I'm gonna plop over here, because we read that already. So next officer, it's gonna be Stamets. So I like what they did with Stamets where he has the arm things done since he was uh, in the ship that which helped him get into the uh, mycelial network. That's cool. The little mycelia is random, which is, that's awesome. So let's go into it. He's in it. He's meh for being rare. He's meh, but let's go over him. It's showing him off the little cool animations around him. Awesome. So it's Captain Maneuver. Sandwich increases the cost efficiency of jumping and summoning with the discovery, which is cool. That's really not much in my opinion. We want his officer ability. So his officer ability. When defending against a player, Stamets decreases the opponent's armor piercing by 40%. So let me grab Stamets. And let's go zoom in. So we look at thing. It's so it's 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. That's gonna be an interesting one. It's gonna be interesting how it looks. I gotta thank uh, Fartasia for providing these images for us to look at and all that. So now let's get into Giorgio, which she's more exciting. We blanked out. So Giorgio loading in. God, I wish I had 125 billion platinum. Jesus Christ, it's a lot. They got her essence pretty good. So her captain ability, never fire first. At the start of each round, if the opponent is burning, Captain Giorgio increases the attack of your of all your officers, opponents, ship by 100% of that round it's interesting but i gotta see how that plays and let's skip into her officer ability so her officer ability at the beginning of each round Giorgio has 50 percent chance of give, causing the enemy burning so okay you don't have to have another officer on there to do it for two rounds that's cool let's grab Giorgio's. so let's go grab it so here's Giorgio's. so her ability the burning gets up to 80 percent by max rank so we go from 50 60 70 75 80 which, cool. And her stats should be good. You see where the synergy is right here. Captain Engineering Science, which gives them the bump, which increases her abilities, which is awesome. So what else does this video have to offer? I haven't really went through it. Her getting upgraded. See, 60%. And then 70%. And then 75%. Boom, that's that video. So, on to the next one. The Synergy one, meh. It's, it's cool to see them, this, they, what they recorded. So it gives you George Doros uh, burning at 100% at her max rank, which is kind of cool. So she would be successfully doing burning every single round. See, it's 150. Well, her ability is 150. That's amazing. And then you add another officer onto it. Got Tilly. Save it. Or you put Tilly in the lead. Save it. Go back in, look at her again, and her power is up to 30% just with the officer bump. So 30% starting at reach round. That's cool. So let's go into the next part of our video. Let's go look at the avatars. I'll leave the last one to make just wait a minute on that one. So here are the avatars. So we have the Call of the Empire avatar. And then we have, I think it goes down to the, this one right here, which I kind of like this one. It's kind of cool. Oh, you got Tilly. Then we have the Federate Distinguished Service Medal. And then got Giorgio right here. Right there. Come on, click it. So there's Giorgio. And we go down further. And that was that. And we get the frames, which you have this frame right here. Right, remember right? You have that one, which I like that. Look at that frame. That's Discovery one. You have the Lower Decks one. Oh God, there's a Lower Decks frame. Oh God. They are integrated that. And then they have the Red Alert frame. Awesome. Here's the part where it gets interesting. We're now we're looking at the research of the new added research. Because look, if you look at this right now, you have cultivated mycelium jump efficiency. 
added. You have US Discovery Summoning Ability. You have USS Discovery Impulse Speed. So you have those already right off the bat, you can see. So we can go over this, we can look at it. I'm not gonna go deep into it because the person who does this video he does upgrades, so they're the ones writing the thing on it. Remember, this is not my account. This is not my account. I'm just bringing you guys the information. So we have the discovery speed, impulse speed, which is summoning, see where the re summoning requires. Uh, uh, unlock the summoning ability from the US discovery. So you need cultivate machine, uh, jump fishy at 10. You need USS discovery speed at three, and you need to be R&D 30. So you have to be a minimum of 30 to be able to get the summoning into it. So anyone lower than 30, I'm sorry for you guys. You guys aren't gonna be able to do it. And then you have the warp range, which is cool. It's a uh, capped. I would have to grab the information, which I don't have in front of me right now, but I think he opens it up, which is capped at each ops level. So it's only certain ones can extend it. So look at rank one gives you five extra warp range. Two gives you 10, 15 gives you blah, blah, blah. So max rank at Ops 41, I'd be at 45. And the rest, I couldn't get. It's gonna be based on operations level. If you need to see that, go to DJ when he releases it, his information, it'll be there. It'll go through all of it, which I think is awesome. I think Partasia might've gave me the information for it. So the just discovery will be able to reach the furthest most area of the map and instantly teleport to another part of the map, which is gonna be awesome when it gets to that point. So it's doing the warp range right now. And you just upgrade the range, increase the warp range. And then we have the mycelium one, which gives you improves the cost efficiency of cultivating mycelium. They use discovery jumping. So it's gonna take less each jump once you get this up there. So, and we go over that. He goes through those upgrade processes to unlock the summoning. I don't have a video of the summoning just yet. I'm going on with what I have beforehand. Remember this is a day before the patch drops and I'm recording my video right here, in here now for you guys. So you have increased impulse speed, which is impulse speed is always cool, but doesn't really matter. And you have USS regular summoning ability. So that's the start of it. At least it's not a prime, but it's going to cost 695 uncommon gas. That just sets my, my enterprise that much further out from going tier nine, but that's all of it. I am happy to say that they are listening to us they are going through all the information to help us out and they're trying to help they're actually listening to us which one could only ask for that's all we need i'm glad they're starting to become a little more upfront with all the information they're bringing to us and they're letting us pre-record this stuff for you guys so you guys can see it as the time drops instead of where i used to go live every time when this stuff comes out and go for a scramble now i can at least get some of the information out to you guys and present it to you guys in my goofy manner that I do it in. We all know that I can't read well at times. Dyslexia and other stuff caused that in the play. But remember to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember there is a join button. If you want to join my channel, help me out per month. If you have an ad blocker, you want to help the channel to their two, five, ten, or twenty dollars a month, I'd greatly appreciate your help. It helps keep this channel alive and it helps me live in another day. And beyond that, remember there is a Discord link. You guys can join my Discord. Below that is a donation link. If you guys want to do a one-time donation, you can click it and send a donation my way. I would greatly appreciate it, especially in these hard times. And that's about it. And look up there. Look look up there how much platinum I have. I haven't bought a pack in a few months. It's getting bad. Anyways, guys, it's No One Shot signing out. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Stay positive. Remember, if you have any negative emotions toward the game, because how people act or how the game makes you feel, go take a break. It ain't worth your mental health. Trust me. I know. I've been through all. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.